In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot using Google AdK, MCP, RAG, and Olima to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. If this is your first time watching me, I highly recommend checking out my previous video. I made a video about MCP, which became a big hit in the AI community. Artificial intelligence is becoming more and more prevalent in our surroundings. Among them, AI agents are programs that think and act autonomously with specific goals in mind, like smart digital assistants that gather information and complete tasks for us. At the Google Cloud Next25 conference, Google open-sourced its first agent development kit, ADK. This is also the second standardized agent SDK released by a major company after OpenAI. ADK can help developers greatly simplify the development of intelligent agents with ultra-complex processes. It can complete everything from large model selection, automated process orchestration, testing the application deployment in one stop, and supports two-way audio, video, MCP, and the latest A2A protocol. For example, developing a cross-platform voice customer service agent through ADK only requires more than 100 lines of code or even less. There is no need to switch between different platform APIs, select models, or write complex code for interaction logic, which greatly improves development efficiency. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question. How can I learn about an AI agent from Gaudali's YouTube channel? Feel free to ask any questions you like. If you take a look at how the chatbot generates the output, you'll see that the agent functions as a seamless research assistant. When I prompt the chatbot, the agent first searches YouTube using the MCP tool to find relevant videos, formatting the results for display while extracting and storing video details to store. Next, the agent automatically queries this same vector store using RAG search tool to retrieve similar content from its knowledge base, which continues to grow as more searches are performed. One of the problems I faced was Unicode encoding errors on Windows when handling non-ASCII characters. This was solved by wrapping Python's stdout stader with UTF-8 encoders and setting the console to UTF-8 mode. Another issue involved RAG integration, which initially prevented YouTube video content from being properly added to the vector store. I resolved this by implementing explicit vector store initialization with a default document building a robust YouTube to RAG pipeline, adding detailed logging, and improving error handling for various result formats. Finally, the agent combines both information sources into a structured three-part response. Video Resources presents the best YouTube tutorials. Knowledge Base shows relevant stored information, including previously indexed videos. And Combined Analysis synthesizes insights from both sources. This approach is embedded in the agent's instruction prompt, ensuring that every query leverages both YouTube results and accumulated knowledge for comprehensive answers. Note this, which is important. This works perfectly when running with ADK Run, but I still don't know why it doesn't run successfully on the ADK web. Maybe time exceeded. I tried to fix it, but there is no luck so far. At least stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into Google's Agent Development Kit is an open source Python SDK designed to simplify the creation of advanced AI agents providing flexibility and control in design and deployment. ADK is model and deployment agnostic, supports seamless integration with any AI model, and can be deployed in a variety of environments, including local cloud or custom infrastructure. Its main features include two-way audio and video streaming for real-time interaction, user interface playgrounds for testing and debugging, and traceability tools that provide detailed workflow insights. A DK follows modular and extensible design principles, making it easy for developers of all experience levels to use while supporting the creation of complex multi-agent systems. AI development often involves complex workflows, integrating various tools, and ensuring scalability for real-world applications. 
ADK addresses these challenges by providing a simplified approach to creating production-ready agents. Its main goal is to reduce friction in the development process while maintaining flexibility and scalability. The model and deployment agnostic foundation provided by ADK enables you to focus on innovation without being restricted to specific tools, platforms, or environments. This adaptability ensures that your AI solutions remain forward-looking and diverse, no matter how project requirements change. Let us now explore step-by-step -step and unravel the answer to how to create the ADK, RAG, and MCP application. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. The next step is the usual one, where we will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. We initiate the code by importing classes from Google developing with ADK is a bit like playing with Lego blocks. You can play with whichever blocks you like and fully unleash your wild ideas without having to worry about tools and underlying technologies. Light LLM allows developers to integrate a diverse range of LLM models, as if they were calling Olama with support for fallbacks. I created a function called create MCP tool executor that returns an asynchronous executor designed to interact with an MCP tool. I attempt to connect to the MCP server, calling MCP tool set from server, providing studio server parameters configured with the given command, arguments, and environment. Once connected, I print how many tools are available, and then I iterate through each tool, trying to run it asynchronously with the provided quarks. I print the tool's name and preview the result. If a tool fails, I log the error and try the next one. If none succeed, I return a fallback response with an empty results list. I ensure proper cleanup by using exit stack and calling a close when finished. Then I developed a function, get embeddings, to create a Google generative AI embeddings object using the embedding-001 model and the data Google API key from the environment. Then I made an asynchronous function in short rag system to initialize or update the rag system. I set up this system to manage a global vector store list of initialized URLs. First, I check if the vector store exists. If not, I initialize it using a default document with some placeholder text. I then generate embeddings using the get embeddings function and build a FICE vector store from the document. If URLs are provided, I filter out any already processed ones, then fetch content from the new URLs using the request library. I use beautiful soup to extract clean text from the HTML pages and convert that into document objects with metadata indicating the source. I then split these documents into chunks, recursive character text splitter, making them suitable for vector storage. Finally, I add the chunks to the vector store and update the list of initialized URLs to avoid duplication. I developed a YouTube integration workflow that includes three main functions to search, process, and format video data. I made an asynchronous function called search YouTube, which performs a YouTube search using an MCP tool executor. I set up the executor by calling create MCP tool executor, specifying MCP YouTube search as the command and passing the serve API key through the environment. After executing the search with the provided query and max results, I check the results format. If it's a dictionary with a results key, I will return it directly. If the result has a content attribute, I try parsing it as JSN. If parsing fails, I handle the error gracefully. Next, I made another async function, process YouTube results, that turns the search results into a list of document objects, each enriched with video metadata like title, channel, link, views, and description, which can later be added to a vector store for retrieval tasks. After that, I designed a RAG workflow that connects YouTube search results and external URLs into a searchable vector store. I created the search rag function, which performs a similarity search on the vector store using the given query. If the store isn't initialized, I automatically call ensure rag system to set up a default environment, ensuring the system never breaks on first use. Then I built the YouTube search tool function to fetch YouTube videos related to a search query using the MCP powered search YouTube function. 
I formatted the results for readability and converted them into structured document objects with metadata. These documents are added to the vector store only if they haven't already been integrated under the same topic, which I track using the topics added list. Finally, I created the rag create tool, which takes a comma separated list of URLs, cleans them into a list, and passes them to the ensure rag system function to ingest their contents into the vector store. I created the research tool function to automate the end-to-end -end research process using an RAG system. I initialized the RAG system, ensure RAG system, to make sure the vector store is ready to store and retrieve documents. I then searched YouTube for the given search, YouTube, capturing the results and checking their format to ensure valid data. I processed those YouTube results into document format using process with YouTube results. And if the vector store wasn't already set, I reinitialized it to avoid storing issues. I added the YouTube documents to the vector store and updated the topics, added list to prevent reprocessing the same topic in the future. After enriching the knowledge base, I performed a similarity search using the search rag function to fetch semantically relevant documents. I formatted the YouTube results for display, format YouTube videos, and combined them with the knowledge base results into a well-structured markdown response. Finally, I created an intelligent agent, multi-tool agent, using the LM agent class with the A Gemini 2.0 flash model to act as a research assistant that combines YouTube videos with a RAG knowledge base. I wrote strict instructions so the agent always performs a YouTube search first, then uses either RAG search tool or the integrated search research tool based on the topic, Educational queries use research tool, while complex ones use RAG search tool with multiple queries. The response format includes video resources, knowledge base, and combined analysis. If RAG data is missing, the agent offers to create new entries using RAG create tool. I registered all four tools and exported the setup root agent for ADK deployment. MCP and RAG integration with Google ADK is a cutting edge technology that transforms LLM into a tool driven agent this configuration will be a strong foundation as the future of AI development accelerates. The transition from simple prompt execution to actionable AI. With the integration into the Google ecosystem also progressing, now is the time for developers to learn ADK+, MCP+, RAG.